I'll start with the quarterback out of Milton, Florida. Six, four and a half, 191, Emory Williams. Yeah, so that's the guy who <clears throat> Miami had centered uh, their recruiting efforts around recently. Uh, basically, yeah, six five two or 190. Um, you know, he's a, a talented kid. You know, he had, what, 31 touchdowns, five interceptions last year, somewhere around there. Um, so get who has put it up, uh, put the numbers on the field. Uh, his number one wide receiver, Raymond Cottrell, visited last week. He was a late addition, but that gentleman is committed to Georgia at, as wide receiver. So that speaks to the caliber of quality of uh, the players who are playing with um, <clears throat> Mr. Williams and their statistics. So if he, I mean, obviously there's a measure of projection, but you know, if he's throwing for nearly 3000 yards, 30 touchdowns, five picks and the number one receiver from that team is committed to Georgia. Henceforth, therefore it's, you know, it kind of follows that, you know, like the receiver's not catching the ball out of nowhere, you know, so that's coming from uh, Emory Williams. And uh, yeah, he's a kid who's going to the elite 11 quarterback camp next weekend. One of the top 24 recruits at that position. Uh, making their way out to Los Angeles for the Elite 11. Uh, that'll be a good measuring stick for him. I'm not expecting that he comes in first, but um, I'm very much hoping it's not last. You know, even something in the mid pack um, would be a really strong showing for a guy who's a three star going up against, you know, four stars, five stars, you know, top players in America. You know, your Malachi Nelsons, your Arch Mannings, is your Jalen Rashadas, uh, your. Uh, all kinds of guys. I don't, I don't even remember all of the names, but yeah, um, <clears throat> that'll be really strong for him uh, to go out there and do that. And he came down to Miami last weekend, sorry, two weekends ago now, uh, and worked out for the staff before seven on seven tournament, got a fully committable offer uh, from them is what he said in an interview, uh, and then took the official visit this past weekend and decided to officially commit. Um, so that fulfills your number one recruiting rule of getting a quarterback in every class. Um, He's one with, you know, potential, obviously, um, as evidenced by his uh, his numbers on the field and the fact of, you know, there were more, more teams who were interested in it and trying to get involved than just Miami. Um, Emory Williams played it really close to the vest and didn't mention a couple of those teams that were trying to get him on campus. But, you know, Pittsburgh, I know, was kicking the tires. There were a couple other teams in the, you know, ACC, SEC world who were trying to see, hey, you know, maybe can we make something shake there? So, um you know, this is one where you got to trust the eval, obviously, and uh, move forward uh, with that. And, uh, you know, a little hint to a future conversation, having Emory Williams would not preclude from uh, Miami from looking at another quarterback in this class, especially if you get one who's potentially more higher rated. Um, but you do have one and one that you like enough to take as a commitment. So, uh, you know, moving the ball forward there.